I love me some platformers. Super Mario 3D World, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Rayman Legends, and even some of those smaller titles like Shovel Knight or Mighty Switch 4 sit right at home with me with their delicious, engaging platforming. Non-stop running through cleverly designed stages accompanied by precise controls as you cascade over deadly pits and determine enemies are all something that I rather enjoy in a platformer. So it would come as no surprise that I've had my eye on the release of Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition on Wii U. And hearing that it was not only a platformer but also part brawler definitely piqued my interest. But the time has finally arrived for us to grab our colorful masks and become the luchador that we were all made to be. Guacamelee is by no means a brand new game, as Dreambox Studios originally released it back in 2013 on the PlayStation 3 and Vita. But Dreambox had an ish to release an enhanced version, so out pops Super Turbo Championship Edition hosting a number of new features. New game areas, new abilities, new enemies, a new boss, and all the DLC from the original are thrown into Championship Edition, making it hands down the definitive version of Guacamelee. Taking control of the beefcake wrestler Juan, you are thrust into a Metroidvania style world permeated by the Mexican culture as you alternate between the world of the living and the dead to rescue the El Presidente's daughter from the hands of the evil, the vile, the despicable Galos Galaga. Having the world of Guacamelee be interconnected is not the sole reason for it being described as Metroid-like, because from beginning to end, you will continuously be learning new abilities that will be utilized to get past color-coded roadblocks that can only be bypassed by certain abilities. Taking it a step further, Guacamelee even has you learn these abilities by destroying statues that look insanely similar to the iconic chosen statues from the Metroid series. Yes, Drinkbox is not being around the bush that Guacamelee was heavily inspired by Nintendo's beloved franchise, but they did well to change things up enough to set their game apart, and one of the ways they did this is by incorporating engaging beat-em-up style battles. These battles are done in a fantastic way as they are complex and flexible and giving you an array of choices to pummel some walking skeletons. There are of course your basic attacks and dodges, but things get kicked up a notch as after hitting them a few times, the enemy becomes stunned and are thus susceptible to being grappled and thrown across the screen to knock down other baddies coming to smack you around. And most of those abilities that you learn throughout your adventure to traverse through the environments are also added to your arsenal of attack choices, culminating into a really deep and intricate fighting system. Since this is the Super Turbo Championship Edition, a new ability called Intenso has been added to the fold, which is easily described as being a carbon copy of the BAT mode from Batman Arkham City Armored Edition, where you deal massive damage for a limited time. It's a neat little addition that can really help you out when you are going up against some formidable foe that you have a tough time competing with normally, and it's worthwhile to send these walking skeletons to their graves, as you're awarded with gold or silver for destroying them, which you can use to purchase character upgrades or additional costumes with different properties to fit your playing style. On top of the brawling already being pretty enjoyable in its own right, earning money from enemies actually gives you a worthwhile reason to crush some bones. But all of this is really only half of what Guacamelee is all about, as platforming also has its fair share in the spotlight. The platforming sections are all around solid with some pretty tight controls, and just like the brawling aspects, there is a measure of complexity involved as it's not as simple as pressing one simple button to jump from one platform to the next. You've got a dodge roll through spiky hazards, use your special attacks to get more airtime, and even jump between dimensions to make platforms appear and disappear. Getting past all these obstacles really test your platforming skills, and you're awarded for passing such feats as you're usually treated to treasure chests with extra gold or even health and stamina upgrades, which is nice. Guacamelee is actually so complex when it comes to its controls that I had a tough time remembering which buttons did what, because there were so many new attacks and abilities that you learned throughout, which I guess could be seen as a good and bad thing. Guacamelee's graphical art style though is pretty top notch, and I can't help but be reminded of Rayman Legends when I see this game. Sure, it doesn't look exactly the same, but it does have that colorful 2D art style that is really well put together as you travel through towns, temples, and caverns. And since this game is centered all around Mexican folklore, you'll be hearing a lot of Mexican music that is well arranged and fits right in so that you actually feel like you're traveling through the heart of Mexico. But once you cruise through Guacamelee's main storyline, which will take over 5 hours, the world still holds some more secrets for you to find. Since you learned a wealth of new abilities throughout the entirety of the journey, you can go back to all the places you previously ran through to get past roadblocks you couldn't get past before. Plus, if you want something a little more bite-sized to pass some time, Guacamelee also features some short time challenges you can take a stab at, where you can earn bronze, silver, and gold medals from platforming and brawling with enemies. But if you're feeling hungry enough to play Guacamelee all over again and you think you've sharpened your skills enough, a new game plus is also waiting for you so Guacamelee's got some legs. The Wii U eShop is becoming home to some pretty awesome games, and Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition is without a doubt another notch in the belt. Dreambox Studios did a fantastic job crafting a Metroidvania style world in a unique Mexican setting and blending 
fusing it all together with complex brawling and platforming goodness between the worlds of the living and the dead. Sure, having all these different abilities constitutes some rather intricate set of controls, but it's not something that should deter you away from this adventure. So, in all, the game in Pixelshow.com finds Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition to be an amazing game. But that will wrap up this review. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And you can stay tuned for more video reviews, news videos, and that's on me receptions in the future. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!